when bad weather strikes. Courtney, stand by with more on Beyond Umbrellas. Yes, Beyond Umbrellas is a great organization that was started by a young lady named Alana Smith, who was a student at Indercom High School, started her own foundation. She joins us live uh, from a school this morning where you are actually going to be passing out these umbrellas. So, Alana, tell us what school you are at right now and why you started Beyond Umbrellas. Yes, yeah, so right now I'm at Pacific Elementary School, and I started Beyond Umbrellas because I wanted to provide resources for school-aged children aiding in the prevention of absences due to weather conditions while increasing academic success. And I strongly believe that every child should have the same educational opportunities as me to uh, build upon their education and knowledge because knowledge is power. This is what's great. This is what I love about this. So, Alana, tell us what grade you're in at Intercom. I'm in 11th grade. Okay, so you're not even a senior yet, and you're already thinking about how younger children are affected by not being able to go to school. And the other thing is, I know a lot of people hadn't even thought about the fact that kids are, are missing out on days of school because of the rain and because of not being able to get to school dry and safe. And so you thought, of, so what made you think to get umbrellas and make sure that these kids had them? Well, actually, my mother volunteered at Pacific Pacific Elementary School mm -hmm. last year uh, during the reading day, re during the reading day event, and she told me that many children were missing school due to the rain and weather conditions. Wow. And so, again, I, I thought that uh, Beyond Umbrellas would be the perfect idea to help the students here so that they can attend school. So you started your foundation and you've been able to get in touch with and work with a bunch of other organizations who have then donated all of these umbrellas. I see a table full and a bucket full. About how many would you say that you've collected so far? We've actually collected 150 umbrellas, which is what, what the school requested. Awesome. Okay, so I know that you're at Pacific right now. The kids are going to be coming in pretty soon. How are you going to get the umbrellas to them? Is there a certain uh, way that you're looking to do it or a certain group of kids that you're trying to target? Uh, to, for the umbrellas, we... Uh, oh, those earpieces are pesky, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. They are. They're annoying, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. So we plan on passing out the umbrellas to the students, uh, and then the, I believe the, the school will choose certain students who miss school okay. and pass out the umbrellas to all the students. Sounds good. But so that's going to be happening. First we'll do it like a raffle. Okay, like a raffle to start. So that's going to be coming yes. up in just a few minutes. But I do want to ask, for people who want to donate to Beyond Umbrellas, whether it's monetarily or to get umbrellas to you, what can they do? So to donate for, to Beyond Umbrellas Incorporated, you can visit my website, alanaismith.com, and it has all the information about what Beyond Umbrellas is about and why I founded it, and about me as well, the founder. Perfect. Alana Smith, I love you. I love your little brain and the way it's working. This is fantastic. <laughs> you're going to be a fantastic adult when it, when it comes time. Uh, so, again, we're going to check back in at Pacific a little bit later this hour when the kids start coming in. 150 umbrellas that this young lady thought to get donated to this school. Great. Awesome. What an that amazing is. kid. I'm telling you. And she's only a junior. Can Ex you imagine what you she's going to do next year? Seriously. Yeah, she's taking over the world. That's I love great. young people. I yes. do. Yes. <laughs> Nicely done. Thanks, Corey.